Hi friends. Uh, hi girls. How are you? Uh, I've seen all your questions. I don't know how far I can answer all your questions today. But I thought I'll show you how I painted these uh, flowers. Uh, take a class on me. I can go more about the material and more details. Okay. Let's go. Let's not waste any more time. Let's go and start painting. Okay. Come on you how to paint uh, one of these roses and uh, maybe one leaf okay so this is going to be a bag for brush case which I already started stitching so you see like later after I finish maybe I'll post it on Facebook okay um, so right now so this is my drawing it's a basic drawing um, I just go with my rose outline like this and then maybe um, if I am able to draw like these uh, leaves here uh, today I can show one leaf like it's a basic leaf okay so uh, you most of you asked me why do you use a medium uh, medium is required uh, like you know you it like it makes the paint stick more on the fabric okay it makes sense like uh, it sticks on the textile permanently and it stays that way even if you wash it won't go and then the fabric also it, it the fabric makes you move easy on the uh, the paint moves very easily if you use this uh, fabric painting mediums i just use uh, the professional quality fabric painting mediums so it's a fabric painting medium uh, so first what I'll do is uh, the topmost part of the leaf here if you see okay uh, so just uh, keep it lighter because uh, the light hits on the top of the leaf so I just keep it light on the top so like I often take my uh, paint uh, because I use very little paint I often load my brush and then like you know I dip it in the medium whenever it says I need uh, this kind of medium. Just take the green okay and then wipe the paint out okay take some medium and then blend it okay just take some white Okay, like this. So after you're done doing this, just smoothly blend it. Okay, wipe your brush and then just blend it neatly. Okay, then uh, go with your liner. Uh, take this uh, light color. Uh, sorry, dark color. Take the dark color and the medium. Okay then what you have to do is just make this skinny lines okay okay so that's how it is and then like i'll show you how i did these roses for the rose first basically what i do is i just go with my medium uh, so i'm just closing the paints uh, these are fabric paints or sometimes i even use the multi-surface uh, uh, the multi-surface uh, paints that says fabric for fabric painting on it 
okay so what i do is i just apply uh, my medium just to get the nice neat smooth blend okay like this and then i'll uh, take the light blue so which is a uh, very light blue here uh, some pale blue take some pale light blue okay and then gradually like on the top i give like uh, uh, the light and then as i go down gradually you see the center um, i just do this it's called gradation you have to go gradually like intensify the color and then more dark like a, i used a cobalt white here and then the key is to blend your paints okay so just gently blend the paints okay then i switch to the brush flat brushes um then i'll uh, just uh, just my top and then once it's dry i go with my the, i do the same for the petals uh, if you see like i dip in medium and then i gradually bring the color uh, wipe the paint okay so just do this okay just keep doing this and then gradually like if you see the color has to increase it's very slowly gradually and then I even take white at the end and then do the petals, okay? So I am keep constantly wiping my brush and then blending it on the fabric very smoothly. That way you get like a uh, print like effect and very smooth finish on the fabric okay just be very gentle so i i even do some dark on the top sometimes here and then go with my lights later okay just any any paint you apply you have to just blend it out okay like this and then similarly let me finish this petal here okay wipe out the excess So all I'm doing is just dipping my paint, see the white and then like finally after it's dry the highlights I'm doing with the white okay and then blending them smoothly into my fabric okay into my lighter color which is like in this case it's light blue okay see. So if, if you think the paint is too thick, then I mix some medium in my paint, dip, dip the medium and then I go with it, okay. So just make, to, sometimes the medium acts like a thinner too, so it makes my paint much thinner, uh, so I go with my medium, okay. And then after I do that, I always do this for the inner petals, okay. Just wipe out the excess and then keep cleaning. Okay, so one 
here one on the alternate so just keep altering your petals okay okay then wipe your brush clean your brush then wipe it gently okay just keep take, uh, taking out the excess paint and then make this kind of uh, inverted U uh, yeah this kind of shapes whatever you call uh, just make these shapes but uh, it's like it's like a uh, random strokes but you have to really watch and do it very carefully so that they like end up in like a neat way okay uh, but you cannot do like uh, all in a straight row or something like that okay so just try this and then as you go down what I do is I even sometimes make them very small strokes like you see very skinny strokes so as you go inside okay um, and then this petal we'll do and then we'll finish it that way okay see all I'm doing is okay so that's how I do my rows and then I'll post it after I finish all this okay so I can even do one here very small one and uh, what I do is basically hmm, if you want to further deepen here I go with my cobalt blue and then you can even uh, bring much depth here inside the rows if you want um, or just continue like this okay so I can show one more rose petal like it, it, it starts with the dark like uh, the shadow is on the here the shadow side is on the top here which is this petal shadow is falling on it then go with the medium color uh, medium blue okay blend it very smoothly so see that's why the fabric painting medium helps you to really blend this uh, into your fabric